you qualified yourself. So let's say, for example, that you are really into country music. And then there's this girl you're talking to, and she's really into, let's say, rock music. And so she goes into like, how rock music is everything, and it's her whole life, and she loves it. And then you're like, yeah, I really like rock music too. Right? Because you want to like, have something in common with her, and you're, you're seeking rapport with her. Okay? She may or may not know that you just did it, but you just qualified yourself by changing the way you are in order to accommodate and appease her. And if you did it once, it probably wouldn't matter. But if throughout the entire conversation, every time she says, oh, that's how I am, you're like, oh, me too. Oh, me too. It becomes very obvious that you're just falling into her reality, um, trying to seek rapport with her, trying to appease her, et cetera. Does that make sense? Um, and so that becomes a form of qualification as well. All right. Um, and there's, there's a lot of other forms like that. But whenever you're changing your behavior to try and impress someone else or to try and change their perception of you, you are qualifying yourself to them. It is a good idea to know when you're qualifying yourself and to, to create the behavior pattern of not doing it. All right, so, and having learned game for almost two decades now, um, I definitely have ingrained the behavior pattern of not qualifying yourself. Like in the situation where most guys' first instinct is to qualify themselves, my first instinct is not to. And that's very useful and very, very good. But game is not a situation where you win by making the fewest mistakes. Game is a situation where you win by doing the most things right. You do them so right, your mistakes don't matter. So the better lesson, the lesson of not qualifying yourself, qualifying yourself is a good lesson to take out of this exercise. The better lesson is the lesson of how to get the girl to qualify herself. Right? That's the more important part. The reason it matters in game, though, is this. Usually in any interaction, the person who's qualifying themselves to the other person is the person of lower social value. And so that just happens organically. But if you get the person qualifying herself to you a lot, then it just seems in the interaction you're of higher social value, she's of lower social value. Right? If that is the nature of your communication, that becomes the default you know, uh, assumption about your, your social roles. Okay? Um, and a lot of things like, for example, shit tests are attempts to get the the girl to get you to qualify yourself um, in a certain sense. Um, when you give a girl a shit test, same kind of thing. Once the girl is qualifying herself to you, there's a lot of good things. One, she has like commitment to you, um, she's investing in you, and then also it gives you a very valid reason for liking her. Right? You can take the things she used to qualify herself and be like, oh, that's actually kind of cool. And it makes it genuine that you like her rather than just liking like the next girl who you could, you know, next wet hole you could put your dick in basically. Okay? Does that all make sense? It's, it's very hard to qualify a girl who's in fuck off, I don't want to talk to you mode. If you try that, she'll be like, why should I tell you? Right, who are you? She'll be like, what's your name? She'll be like, I don't have a name. Right? You'll get those kind of things. All right? Or what's your name? I don't give my name to strangers. Right? <laughs> like weird shit like that. Right? That's when you're trying to, so you can't qualify a girl who's unwilling to qualify. Right? And that's why, um, if you look at the, the structure, open, premise, evaluate, narrative, close, evaluation is that, that period where a lot of qualifying is going on, or you're qualifying her. It doesn't go open qualify. It goes open premise qualify. Right? So you're establishing that it's man to woman in some way. You're establishing what, what you're there for. You're establishing who you are a little bit. And then from there, you're going to qualify. And what you're looking for before you would explicitly ask someone to qualify, you're looking for her to either qualify organically, like she just qualifies herself without being asked. You're looking for her to invest in the conversation, you know, flirt back, give you compliments, touch you, those kind of things. Um, you're looking for her to just commit, like when it goes silent, for her to be invested in trying to keep the conversation going, all those kind of things. You're looking for her to be emotionally reactive to you. If any of those things are occurring, then it's likely if you were to ask her to qualify, she would. Right? Also, at a kind of an advanced level, um, rather than flat out ask her to qualify, like there's the old school pickup routine bit where you go, um, oh, you're a pretty girl, but beauty is common. What do you have going for you besides your looks that make me want to get to know you better? Old school mystery routine. Um, and that's very much hey girl, please qualify to me, right? And if the girl likes you enough, it will work. So if you do it at the right point in set, it will work. And that used to be like our game in 2003. You do all the right things to build attraction, and then you're like, okay, I think it's time for that line. You say that line, and you really hope she buys into it and qualifies herself. And if she doesn't, you're really totally screwed, right? Um, what you should do instead is a lot of like soft qualifiers to see, right? So for example, um, you could just lead an idea. You'd be like, you know, I'm... Personally, I have to tell you this, I'm really into sports. Like, I absolutely love it. I think there's something about people that, that have done sports I find to be more interesting people, and like, they have a little more like fire in them, you know what I mean? So I, I really appreciate that. I just, it's just a particular thing of mine. Right? And then you just kind of leave it there, and if she goes, well, I used to play volleyball, right? Now she's qualifying herself to you, and now she's indicated a willingness and a desire to qualify herself to you, and so you can overtly ask. 
But if she didn't jump in with that, you wouldn't have lost value by asking her to qualify and her saying no, and you wouldn't have made it super tense and awkward. So there's a lot of kind of soft qualifiers like that that you can do ahead of time to kind of sense where you're at. And then if those go well, you could do like a full, full on qualifier, right? And the, the best result, the best qualifier is when you flat out ask and she flat out does it, right? That's, that's when you, you have total compliance. But um, it's nice to test for it because again, when you ask and get a no, like who, you know, you, you, who are you, whatever. She's like, oh, I'm nobody, I'm not special. Like, oh, fuck, All right? That kind of sucks. You could make an assertion and see if she'll follow you on it. So you'd be like, you know, I find that like adventurous people are the most fun by far. Would you agree with that? Something like that. And if she agrees with it, great. If she doesn't agree, fine, because it's not like, please qualify to me. Exactly. But if she's like, oh yeah, I totally agree and starts buying in, now she knows she's following your frame. Mm -hmm. She's doing that a few times. There's a good indicator that she might, you know, buy into a bigger, yeah. bigger level of investment. Whereas if you're like, well, she's like, no, I really disagree. And she gives you a very logical answer. You know that she's not in that frame yet. And so you joke around, tease her a little bit more, have some more good conversation, good vibe, and then try again later.